Thank you, Ariel. Through fine art and conservation, education, Seaweed returns to the Low Country this weekend for its three day celebration of wildlife and nature. Here with us today, one of Seaweed's many talented artists, we have Jason Taco. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And I'm very excited to hear about your work. Tell me about it. Um, well, the road less traveled. It was inspired by a trip we took to um, Western North Dakota. I wanted to do an animal that had not been done as the feature piece before, and I believe um, bighorn sheep have never been done. And um, also, Western North Dakota, it's a place of underappreciated beauty, and so I um, wanted to incorporate that, incorporate that into the scene. Um, Bighorn sheep are native to the area, mm -hmm. so between some sketches I had done while I was there and photographs, I composed a painting. And now you get to bring back that unappreciated beauty to the low country to share this weekend. Yep. You've been involved in seaweed for a while. What can people expect when they come out? It's an incredible show. Um, in my opinion, it's probably the top wildlife art show out there. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the Thursday night gala is an incredible event. They have ice sculptures, animals running around, um, and uh, Friday through Sunday is when the general public comes, and there's just some phenomenal artwork there. And Jason, you're one of the phenomenal artists. How, how did you decide you wanted to be an artist? You said kindergarten. You knew you were good at it. Yes, kindergarten, I um, would uh, draw trees, and i draw them, I guess, a little more realistically. Other kids were doing, like, lollipops. And it was in fourth <laughs> grade, um, the teacher drew uh, uh, Corpaconia, I believe it's called, the Horn of Plenty, on the chalkboard, asked all of us to draw it, and mine turned out the best, and it was kind of then that I realized maybe this is my calling. And so when people talk to you at Seaweed, maybe they're looking for inspiration, maybe they're just looking for artwork, but what advice do you have to give? Um, the biggest advice I have to anybody who wants to become an artist is to draw or paint from life as much as possible. Mm -hmm. That's what I did when I was a teenager. I would get up sometimes at 4 or 5 in the morning during blizzards and go out into the woods and sketch and paint and just experience nature. And I think that's what's helped me more than anything. Well, so incredible. Once again, this is Jason Taco. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate having you. And you Thank can you. check out his work at Seaweed.